Howdy y'all, it's Deets here. Today we got our second installment of a Camina Deets video. Uh, my buddy Nick recreated and had his own take on our Euro recipe. So let's see what he did. So we saw Deets' Euro video and we liked it so much we figured we'd try to recreate it. But we also wanted to make it our own. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our lamb. We've got it marinated in some Chinese spices, mainly like a cumin Chinese dish. And then we're going to grill that and we're gonna take that and we're going to put it into Chinese scallion pancakes instead of actual uh, pita pockets or pitas. Um, we're gonna stick with the original lamb sauce, but kind of do a Chinese Euro blend. First, you're gonna need some chili peppers, soy sauce, cooking wine, ideally Chinese, and then uh, some black pepper, salt, most importantly, your cumin, uh, some more fresh chili peppers if you want, just to heat things up. A little bit of sugar we're going to toss in there with the broth. Right? And lastly, and most importantly, your lamb. First, we're going to do about three of these guys in here. Then we're just going to chop up our chilies real fine. And then we'll see some of these dry ones just to mix up the flavor. Both of these are really hot, so we're not going to do a ton. Obviously optional. Put these right in our marinade. We're gonna do about this much brown sugar. So we're just gonna give it a little bit of black pepper. A little more of our salt. We're using kind of bougie salt here and you certainly don't need to do that. And then we're gonna go one to one ratio of our soy sauce. to our cooking wine. Really what we hope this cooking wine does is kind of break down that lamb and make it nice and tender. And we're just gonna do a little pinch of some fish sauce, a little saltiness too. Um, don't have to do the fish sauce, but if you do, it's very important that you do the one with three crabs. I have a good authority that this is the only one that's worth it. So we're going to take our lamb, we're going to forcefully put it in our bag for marinating. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to cut our cucumber, like Deet said, and we're gonna to wanna to de-gut the thing. We're only gonna use half of our cucumber because it's pretty massive, but this is the same gyro sauce that's uh, displayed in that inspirational Deet's Eats gyro video, the whole thing that got us doing this. And we're gonna de-gut it just like this, throw that seeds and just kind of nasty stuff out. Each side we're just gonna grate this up, shred this up. Our next step, as Deed says, is to strain this with a cheesecloth. Uh, we don't have one of those, nor do I think it's all that necessary, so I'm gonna disagree with our profit Deets. We're gonna kind of squeeze it like this, get most of that water out of our shredded up cucumbers. Take it, flip it over, do a similar thing. And once we have most of that out, we should be fine. A little water never hurt anyone. So we're going to chop up our mint, as Deet said, finer than your best friend's sister. And we'll also throw in a little bit of garlic. We'll get our lime going here, lime juice. that, put a little of that in there. We're gonna put some olive oil in. I'm gonna go ahead and just dump some yogurt in there. And uh, just add it, mix it, taste it, see what you like, what you don't like, and then add some more of the stuff you like or want it to taste like, and leave the stuff out you don't like. And what we're gonna make here now, instead of pitas like Deets did, we're actually gonna do scallion pancakes to kind of keep up with our Chinese lamb roast we got going. So a little bit different than Deets is, trying something different. So we're going to put a cup of hot water in our dough. And we're gonna mix that. And we're also going to add a little bit of some sesame oil for flavor. And we're gonna mix this up until nice shaggy dough forms that we can roll out on our counter. Now that we have our dough rolled out nice and smooth, we're gonna put it in an oil cooking bowl and we're gonna let it rise for a little bit. We're gonna slice up our scallions nice and thin for our pancakes. 
and then we'll fold these into the pancake. Now we're going to drop our lamb onto the grill and we'll take a look at it once it's done grilling right about now. Put a little oil in here, not a ton. Take that. And then we're going to fill it with whatever topping we want. So, in our case, we're going to do a little scallions and we like it hot so we'll put a little chili in there too. So we'll take our scallions, sprinkle it all in our little pancake. So now that we've rolled our pancake out, we got it looking nice. We got it about the size we want. Again, it's a little thicker because we kind of want this to mimic a pita with some of that uh, like Chinese pancake qualities. We can uh, go ahead and we'll get our skillet ready and we'll toss this in. So you'll take this and we'll fry it, brown it on both sides, give it a flip. And once it's looking like that on both sides, what we'll do is we'll take it and we'll actually hold this with our lamb that we're just keeping warm from the grill in here for now. So we're gonna come to our lamb and we really wanna shave this nice and thin like you would get with your um, gyro. Here we have our final product with our scallion pancake on the bottom, lamb, onions, tomatoes, cucumber sauce, and then finishing with some sriracha on top for a little heat. All right, so we're gonna try our first bite of this. And here we go. It turned out great. Thanks for the inspiration, Deets. Keep up the cool videos. Hey, I really like how Nick kind of made this his own. He didn't just follow exactly what I did. He did what he thought would be good, which is the whole purpose of this. I'm just happy to inspire him. Thank you so much, Nick, for doing that. And if you would like to make a community Deets video, you can get in contact with me and I can we can figure that out from there. But thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.